okay? Yeah, I don't think they heard me, which is a fairly good thing. Yeah, you were like one pip on the audio. Welcome back to Blue Omen Operation, a Kickstarter game that it does Mario and Luigi RPGs because Nintendo hasn't been keen on those. Yeah, they, have, they haven't made a lot recently. Right, the last one was uh, the last Paper Mario game. Mm -hmm. Origami King. And Luigi wasn't really in there all that much. Yeah, well, you actually had to hunt him down like an Easter egg. Yeah. Happy Passover, Easter, and Ramadan because all those ironically fell on the exact same day. We're not going to see that for another hundred years. No. It's like a, it's like when, uh, in media when they say, oh, the, the plant is to lie in every convenient amount of years, and it's happening right now. It won't happen for another ten quadrillions of years. It was a full moon on Easter, so we had werewolves, zombie Jesus. Yeah. For all you D and D fans, is Jesus a lich? Um, I don't think Jesus did uh, any evil witch stuff. He turned water into wine. Well, that's just a good party trick. Fair. Well, I guess I'm just weird the way I run liches at my table. Are all liches evil? No, there are a couple good ones. Shang Tsung has been turned good, and he's kind of Mortal Kombat's lich. So we're still in the labyrinth here. No, I uh, I went a different way because I thought something was to be found in the one direction. And now I'm just uh, healing up and then turning around. Well, after I pick another fight, I guess. You gotta go on the right direction. For those of you who haven't gone to support the Kickstarter, please do. Well, but there's no point in pointing them at the Kickstarter as it was done like five years ago. Oh, now I feel sad. Talking about the uh, friendly liches made me think of the. Um, there's this one, uh, Dia Deus Merco, uh, like tall, friendly skeleton woman. Yep. Yeah. That's the One Punch character, right? Or One Piece yeah. character, correct? Yeah. Uh, book? The. So the uh, Bard, Mass Illusion Wizard, Swordsman. Yep. Uh, if you have to, if you play him properly, you have to ask uh, all the NPC female characters if you can see their panties. Uh, fun. Hamburger. No wait, not not the item I was thinking of. Yeah, it's the shock therapy which will allow you to revive your fallen allies. 
Like a shock to the system. <laughs> nice. Oh no, there must be a boss fight ahead. I don't know how I could have possibly guessed that. Well, in this case, it's more like a boss maze. Fun. It really brought out my inner Zoro when I was doing this last time. The action economy still holds true. Yeah. The more people you got, the easier it is for you to win. Yeah. Uh, I think the this is a, a game with a two-party uh, only. It's... You take out one, it's two against one, which is styling. Yeah. Styling, profiling on these... Uh... In this club of the mama bears. Basically. And here's me, uh, checking out the, you know, the, uh, you know, the sites, you know, make sure I have some landmarks to go by. Yep. Yeah. Which powers would you rather have, fire or thunder? I feel like I'd rather have thunder because then I could still, like, cause things to burst into flames. And then maybe if I got really good with the lightning, I could use it to charge things. Nice. Like, what if, what if I could have, like, an electricity field and then I could wirelessly charge my phone? I can only think of Shazam at that because of that. Now your phone's charged. Now your phone's charged. Now your phone's charged. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't know it was an iPhone. <laughs> Which is ironic because it was kind of the Samsungs that were doing the whole kaboomin yeah. scheme things. But people were putting their iPhones into microwaves to charge them, so... Uh, I saw somebody who tried to drill a hole in their phone to get the iPhone jack back. Uh, yep. Honestly, they should never, never have gotten rid of it. But it proves that the Apple has the bite taken out of it for a reason. Never getting the full apple. Yeah. Even on these newer Macs, they solder the board in and the casing together so you can't mod it in any way, shape, or form. Not even to add more memory. Yeah, but well, a lot of things are like they just want you to go to the very like license repair people. Yep. Like even like tractors have software that are like, uh, oh, well you didn't get uh your tractor fixed at the right person. Which so. is a little hard to comprehend. Yeah. I just need a someone to give me a firm grasp on it. To so I firmly understand the difference between soft and hard. Any of you programmers out there understand what that type of joke is? I'm pretty sure everybody's getting the joke. I don't. I feel like I need to explain it, but... Give me. I feel like I'm being blasted by your joke. Streams of joke understanding hitting my face. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, hardware is the physical thing, the software is the zeros and ones that run the hardware, and the firmware can communicates between the software and the hardware, making the thing function in the first place. Because I'm sure you've 
executed many five-year-olds right now. Well, parents keep handing their kids YouTube thinking, Oh, it's a babysitter. They won't reach their arm out in the cookie aisle of the Walmart. They will anyway. While they're pumping the most not safe for work music because it's on the recommended feed. Parents, you know what you're doing? Knock it off. I don't understand. I just put, I just sat my child down with Coco Melon. How'd he get to the baby? Just because it's, just because you saw Coco Melon doesn't mean it's not, it is Coco Melon. And besides, YouTube Kids is no, no better, like, at all. I will empirically prove it if I need to. Log into YouTube Kids and let's see what type of content's on there. I'll tell you this, it's, there is some religious stuff and it ain't Veggie Tales. No, Veggie Tales with the Book of Job would be hilarious. Yeah. Just a cucumber laying in the ditch. You're just like. What happened uh, to me? I'll tell you, Bob. It all started when. All started when the devil and God were made a bet. And now my life's in tatters. Still love him though. Hey, you still got your L. Boom. Turns into a pickle for for the rest of the episode. Yeah. Oh man. Rick's not gonna be happy about this one. Yeah. That's like in the uh, the skeleton. Make me play the. There's a, a joke in One Piece that uh, during Skypea, there's a part where uh, Luffy gets swallowed whole by this giant, like, snake guy thing. Yeah. And he sees a skeleton that's wearing clothes similar to Nami's. He goes, he runs up to her, like, Nami! Oi, Nami! And I snap out of it! Looks like you're a lot more confident on the battle system. Yeah, I, uh... Practice a little bit? No. Well, my, uh... I was also watching One Piece during this. So, sometimes I get distracted reading subtitles. And sometimes I just miss because I miss chunks of the time. Well, the... Well, good news. Those Japanese voice actors are learning English, so they don't have to go through crunchy rolls nonsense. Yeah, that's also a thing that is like voice actors getting paid like like hundreds of dollars for an entire series. As much as I love meeting some of these voice actors, I've met May. From the Pokemon series. Mm -hmm. But that was kind of a while back. And seeing these voice actors travel a lot more. Or, tr or just translating Yokai Watch. Come on. It's a good show. Yeah, I'm, I'm clearly not overly salty about this in any way, shape, or form. No, you've, uh, you've clearly been, uh, uh, yeah, I'm put cool. into a uh, totally Mr. Chill. Well, totally been washed down like Christian's chicken. Ha ha ha. Do do do.
I wonder what would happen if Undertale had this same encounter system. Oh, and I couldn't find the uh, the later form of the demo, but in that they have the uh, enemies walking the overworld, like a uh, Luigi Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. I'll have to look on my internet thing. When I get a chance. Now the uh, I kind of like the line because it means that grinding is easier. Yeah. You just you could just walk into a wall and get into fights as many times as you want. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for editing all of these together. It makes things easier on me. No problem. Yeah. That was my dog going upstairs. And got real loud on the recording. I'm hoping everyone likes the one things that I edited together. I found myself reminded that I'm actually good at GIMP, so, which is free version of Photoshop. Yeah. Well, you've got a lot more uh, Photoshop, Photoshop skills than I do. I, have, I see the ideas in my head, but yeah. yeah. It'd be a lot easier if we could just plug a USB cable into our head or arm or whatever and just be like, okay, here's the idea. And would, manifest onto the screen. That would actually be a fun tool to help prisoners rehabilitate. Therapy wise, uh, just find that part of the brain where people think do crimes and just snip, snap, uh, boom. Are we? Are we doing? But this? that would technically be transhumanism. That but society has a problem accepting the wayward kind of trans. Yep. How are we going to accept man who is also a robot? Futurama explains the, all that pretty well. I need a drink from a Kleiner bottle to get into that, though. I don't have whatever that is. It's a scientific tool used to boil steam, steamy acid and carefully drop it. Yeah. It's a brand of beer in Futurama, and you have to hold the bottle in a weird way to drink out of it, but it is beer. Yeah. Who puts beer in one of those things? I mean, sure. Cleaning alcohol is something different because if you drink it, you go blind. Maybe, uh. As maybe blind as I... Ray Charles on a date with. I had the other blind, blind person in mind Stevie Wonder. Yeah. Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder. They couldn't see eye to eye on anything except where to go to get get a meal. But don't she? Well, it's kind of funny that like both of the famous blind guys are both black uh, musicians. Like, I mean, if there was a blind golf with, I'd 
I'd love to see that. Just he takes off his hat because gets a feel for the wind and he's on par. Yeah. Just a, a golfer with the echolocation power of Dare, Daredevil. Yep. Except of making clicking sounds, he goes, da na 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 na. Or just feels them like some sort of seismic sense. Now that was a, a Caddyshack reference. Well, I am all right. Nobody worry about me. You know, they Chevy Chase goes na 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 while making his putts. Yeah. They're technically in a cave, right? Underground? Yes. Then how does lightning strike? Because you will it too. And look, there's that landmark. Just turn your stress into energy and boom. Yep. Oh. That explains the heck out of some of my head workers. Yeah. Well, I mean, Nami uh, throws around lightning all day long. And she doesn't have to worry about whether she's indoors or outdoors. And just like that, we're out of the maze. So these battles get real super toe if you know what you're doing and you can do it real good. Like me! Okay, Mr. Mexo. Mexo Pedal. And look, it's the store with some some really shop at the shop where we rip off the Mario Brothers. Yeah. One is tall, one is fat. There's a uh, their names are like uh, Poncho and Poncho and Patchy. There it is. We just need a super Luigi RPG at this point. Yeah. Just takes place at the same time as Super Paper Mario. Yeah. That same god that curses Mario with the paper airplane form gives Luigi the blessing to do so. And see how he meets all his companions would be cool. Yeah. Uh, or just have an ancient Yoshi just get zapped into a baby Yoshi so Luigi can do the shit that the baby Yoshi could. And it would know how societies function. Like, that baby Yoshi didn't know what a cell phone was. Now, it knew what an email and a cell phone were, though it was just born like five minutes previously. Uh. I mean, birds can inherit the directions for the summer and winter, so maybe Yoshis can inherit more complex ideas. I mean, they can drive cars, but you're not going to let a baby behind the wheel. Right, I keep forgetting well, Mario Kart's a thing. Are they, is it a car or a cart? These things are very important. Carts are just more dangerous cars. I. Uh, the 
And I heard about the uh, Action Park documentary where they, there's this uh, one amusement park that had go-karts and alcohol next to each other. Yeah, and like the gun store next to a Chuck E. Cheese. That's genius. Yep. I mean, if someone were to buy a Chuck E. Cheese and get the rights for the Freddy Fazbear stuff, just have a guy dressed dressed in purple stand around as the thing's being constructed. Yeah. Uh, just walking around with a phone, shuffling. And any time someone goes to talk to him, he runs away. Yeah. Get Usain. Get some one of Usain's bolt bolts rivals. Uh, I think I'd want my weirdo purple guy construction man to shuffle uh, rather than run. No, if someone approaches him. He runs the opposite direction. Okay. Okay, man, your job is to hold this phone, wear purple, and walk and shuffle around like your silver chariot. Silver chariot back to you. Yeah, that, that would be doable. Like the every time they release an hit movie, so. An hit style clown is found walking around in the woods. Yeah. No, it comes. It's like every 27 years? Yeah. I feel like it's the evil part of Mary Poppins, though. Yeah. Okay, clown. Your job is to be spooky. It's scary, and if you find any porn bags, you can just give them to me. <laughs> yep. And, uh, we were talking, but I just bought s'mores to, so I could make it across the river. And I... I already have my inventory filled with burgies and water water bottles. Water bottles. So like I, a health conscious hiker who doesn't realize that it's bear season bear, bear mating season. Quick. Uh use this burger. You know what my favorite burger movie is? Uh, Good Burger. I had a feeling you would say that. Keenan Thompson? Yeah, one of the best actors. He did the rare child actor thing of just continuing to work and not flaming out. Yep. It's probably a good thing Josh Peck didn't go the same way. Because he made TikToks like, just got a new car, look out, Oprah. Well, the. He did buy that house, though, so he lives there. Is that right? Well, it is a fun house with a cool room, so. Would you? Yeah, I would. It's, it's a good thing, though, they had the teenage boys computers face away from the cameras. Yeah. We, uh, we just finished the raft, so we'll be able to go over to where the boss is. Uh, but unlike Bear Grylls, we didn't need a camera crew to build it for us. Yeah. I'm sorry, that's a low, well, low blow. Well, yeah, the 
the artifice of surviving on the wild is kind of destroyed when you have to like realize that there's a camera crew with a sound guy. Yeah. And there's like probably like 15 people recording him surviving in a desert. Honestly, wait till the future sends us drones to go to go back in to go back yeah. and just follow this one person around like they're the, the most interesting thing on earth yeah. if uh, or yeah basically like booster gold yeah. uh, so this uh, upcoming section is uh, me going across the river then coming back to save. Yes. Wait up! I need to save! Alright, the moment we do this, there's no way we can turn back. Are you ready? Yeah. No, no, I forgot to save. You can't. We can't go back. The cutscene's already started. No, 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 no. No! Just getting dragged on by the edge of the screen. The amazing world of Gumball is so relatable on that front. Yeah. Okay, I'm good and saved, so now I can go fight the boss. I'm all healed up, right? Good. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't expect that. Nope, I completely forgot that there was a save point. Right outside the boss's door. It's a trope for a reason. Necessary trope. Yes, it's still a trope. Yeah. And tropey. <laughs> so, if one video game voice actor got a right to all their characters to make a fighting game, mm -hmm. who do you think should it should be? Uh, Northern North. Is that the... Which one is that? Uh, which one isn't he? Fair enough. But I I say Jack Black. Poe, the Kung Fu Panda, Eddie Briggs, the roadie. One of the masks from It's About Time. Mmm... Nachos. You think you've been caught up in your love of Jack Black, but you haven't even noticed the bat boobs. One of her wings is covering it. That's not fair. Now I have a. I'm sure they'll enlarge the picture so you can get a better look. Very nice. Reason number sixty-nine. I'm bisexual. There's a Simon Bel Belmont reference on the top right corner. Yeah. That's Dracula's castle, baby. Yeah. Nice view of Castlevania! Da 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 if Mega Man were more open world. Yeah. Oh. Uh, there's a reason they have it's the Vania of Metroidvania. Oh, that would be that would be fun. Wily calls all his robot masters to his castle mm -hmm. and Mega Man gets a power up of being able to siphon the energy out of Wily's castle to charge, to charge it, to charge himself and his weapons. Yeah. But the more he takes, the yep, more jiggle physics in the fight than not. Yeah. Well, we got the jiggle physics in the most important place. Yes. Like in Super Mario Odyssey, they put it in the most important place. 
For Mario, they added it to his nose. Yeah. No, his nose bounces around like... He has two force or something, I'm calling it. Yeah. But he only uses it to jump. Yeah. Oh no, did she heal up by eating that bat? Yeah. Give him the big chomp. No fair, humans can't do that. Oh, I am, uh, walking around in, like, 20 water bottles and 30 no. birdies. No, I mean, humans can't heal by eating bats. No. In fact, the opposite is true. You most commonly get the status of rabies. Or COVID. Yeah. If that's... Yeah, I've, uh, I pretty much assigned uh, Juro to healing duty and Yajiko to uh, lightning. When your tank's the healer. Yeah. Which video, which video game was that? Where the healer was made out of paper, but they could fling spells like nobody's business, and the tank could just heal up everyone? Uh, in a little sense, uh, Paper Mario games. That, is that who I, is that what I was thinking of? Perhaps. Yep, probably. If you know what Pixel's talking about, leave a comment guessing what he's talking about. I'll be sure to respond to say yes or yes or no. But yeah, dumb, dumb question. Who would Superman from the DC Comics? Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty, and the heavy weapon guy from TF2. They all share one thing in common. There's one thing they hate equally with such a burning passion, they will go out of their way to make sure it's not a problem to them. What is that one thing? They all hate dry cleaning bills. Yes, but no... I think it's something a bit more otherworldly. Well, you do, you know, I'm pretty sure that whatever uh, Superman's cape out of it costs a lot to go through the washer. I know the answer, but I'm just going to continue on this dry cleaning. Bit. Dang. Ah, well. Hey, do you see the, uh, the console in the background? Uh, I just, I just noticed that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And that, and is that Star Tropics in the top left corner? Maybe. That's awesome. That would be a great reference. And look, we I finished the fight in only this one attempt. This has to be a joke. I'll fan the lamp over. And Yajiko sees that she can't like feel the lamp around. Uh, somebody nabbed it while we were fighting. I wonder if there's fan art of Batris and her fun fighting in a way that initiates Rule 34. Mm -hmm. Ha ha ha. There probably is. Let's see. Yep.
six pack, called it. Ooh. I have a six pack too, it's just hidden behind a kegerator. Because I'm hydrated. I drink enough water to support my immune system. Yeah. Muscles cause dehydration if you have them too swelled out. Yeah. And so, unaware, our heroes have saved the day. The, their friend Patris has left the hotel. No longer will she and her Cali goons terrorize the city of La Pala. And although Jiro and Yagito were unable to find one of their demon lamps, the people of La Pala, this text is going way too fast for me. It's only something, something dark side, something, something, something nearing completion. This was Blue Omen Operation, a Kickstarter game that brings things back to the common sense of the directory. What did you think? Did you, the one who did the playing, or right. just drowning it out? Yeah, I had a lot of fun playing it. Yeah, it yeah. has a great art style and fun gameplay. Yep. Yeah, we're just gonna let these credits roll. Yeah, you didn't uh, notice, but there's a, a person who, like, snuck out, who, like, popped their head out for, like, invisibility or whatever. And she's the one on the left. Fun. Yeah. So, if you send that to me, I'll make it the thumbnail. Uh, Upload well, the custom thumbnail with the girl loving girl pride flag. Let's not get the get anybody's hopes up. Okay, the internet could. The internet gets their own hopes up. Well. Elon Musk has Twitter's hopes up with his desire to buy Twitter because he believes in free speech. Oh. That or he'll just buy it and then make it illegal to make fun of him. Nah. Absolute power doesn't corrupt, absolutely. And worst case scenario, he just takes a day trip to space again, just to relax and calm down. Yeah. Well, Let's have a discussion about that in the comments, because comments are the only thing keeping YouTube channels alive right now, according to YouTube itself. Yeah. Thanks, Susan, which is whoopsie whoopsie wow wow, I can't pronounce your last name. Wojcicki. Susan, Polish name. I mean, you're trying your best, don't get us wrong, but still. Still, though. Mm -hmm. And pretty soon, I realized that we're, the game isn't going to go back to the title screen, and I stopped the recording. And he second now. We'll make this a supercut, so in screen boop. I boop too soon. Got like 12 boop. seconds. 12 seconds. Ex 8 extra seconds. Boop. 6 boop. seconds. 4, 3, 2, boop. 1.